Garth Brooks is back. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. We can't wait. First Garth Brooks concert? No, this is my second. My first Garth Brooks concert was when he was here 17 years ago. I was seven years old. All right, you got the Garth Brooks Nashville 2010. That was pretty big, the flood relief concert? Oh, yeah, I was at the last concert. Have you guys seen him before? I have not. I have not. No. None of you? My in-laws. Wanted to make it to Vegas, never could. And uh, we said as soon as he came close enough to go, I was going to spend whatever money possible to go. So. <laughs> What was the first thought that went through your head this morning? Well, first we were in New York, first of all, and I'm thinking, oh, that's right, it's an hour earlier here. <laughs> but uh, all I can think about is playing. All I can think about is holding my wife's hand and singing, and it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. I'm waiting for a lot of moments in this in this show tonight. Uh, probably the one I'm waiting for the most is the entrance. <laughs> oh. You came back. You came back. If you're not here to make a big entrance, you know, go home. So uh, I'm looking forward to see if we can pull it off if the timing all works. And if it does, then it's downhill from there because after that it's just playing music, which is what we came here to do. Plus, uh, Ghost Tunes launched a new music distribution service online, G Hosted. I love that part of it. Uh, this has been a long time coming. You talked with us at the Hall of Fame and you said, I'm going to walk down a path with the president of iTunes. And if we don't like what we're talking about, I'm going to have to take a different avenue. Yeah, sweet guy. All those guys are sweet. They show a lot of respect, but they've got a way of doing their business. And all e-commerce digital music has a way of doing their business. My problem is I don't see anybody out there that's just selling music or selling entertainment to the people that want it. Uh, we're either selling widgets or we're selling a billion other things. I like this because it's very flexible, it's very small, and it allows uh, the artists to sell the stuff the way they want it, and it also allows the price to be fluctuated so the people can get a break on the price end too. So uh, I'm excited about what this has to offer. People, loving people. All your message songs, your anthem songs that you've put out, People Loving People fits perfectly within that category. A message you need to get out now for a very timely message. I gotta tell you, I think it's a message the world needs. Forget about Garth Brooks, but the song People Loving People, no matter who would have cut it, needs to be out right now. That message we need to hear because we're better people than we're giving ourselves credit for. It's just people loving people.